What's good, everybody? It's your boy, O'Shea Duke Jackson, back at it again with another episode of The Celebrity Junk. I'd like to draw your attention to this discussion about Ebony K. Williams that was happening. And a lot of these sisters on this um, listen to black women speak or listen to black women. They were talking about the disparity with black men dating white women and all of this, and they should go out and date, you know, interracial. And Melissa Ford weighed in on the passport bros and that whole situation, all right? Let me go after that clip and come back. Do you feel like people throw that in your face as well? Because when you see a black man that's dating a white woman, it's kind of just like, okay, you know, the athletes, oh, they all got them a white woman, I, and that's fine. There's a whole movement called Passport Bro. This yeah. is what I mean. Oh, what God. The, what, I mean, it goes to Ebony's point yes. about black women being fed the narrative that you got to take what you can get, that you're the yes. lowest on the totem pole in terms of attractiveness, mm -hmm. and that black men are actively saying I do not want a black woman. I am going to go to another country to yeah. find another, you know, ethnicity or race of woman because they, I deem them to be more attractive. Yes. I deem them to have more traditional values, read, you know, bow to me. And, you know, to find them to do what whatever. though? To so marry like, them. There shouldn't be no reason why you- All right guys, so you've, you've listened to that successfully. Now then, let me deal with this. Melissa Ford, and these women on the panel. And I, I, I've i noticed this being in business and trying to be in business, trying to establish certain frameworks for myself as an entrepreneur this last decade. You know what I've noticed, guys? We look for what we can get out of it. When we start a YouTube channel or start a small business or setting our prices to gain customers, we are looking for how we benefit. And we, we live this world through a biased eye. And frankly, we don't really care about what we give to others. We gotta be honest. That's typically not how we are built. Most people, we want resources. We care only about what we need. So if somebody does not like us, it's their fault. If somebody doesn't want to deal with us, it's their fault. And when I hear Melissa Ford talking about the passport bros and black men, and she's saying, well, you don't like black women? No. Well, because, and, but you know, and she's, she's mentioning certain things, but she's not dealing with the position of what's going on. Now I'm gonna come to this. I wanna play this other clip. Ebony K. Williams is going to admit she was married and divorced. She was an attorney married to a guy she made more money than. I wanna play that clip and come back. Let me tell you something else I know about women who show up in success and financially and this, that, and the third, and then they try to act as if we're all the same. Mm -hmm. and, and they do date, you know, men that maybe are differently positioned financially or educationally or otherwise. They, they are typically resented. I'm gonna just tell you the truth. The women I know that build men, right? Yeah. <laughs> right? Because we've all done it. That's truth be told. In my first marriage, I paid the bills. Let's mm -hmm. be clear. I'm not speaking hypothetically. I'm speaking from experience. Mm -hmm. I was a lawyer dating a grad student. Who do you think was running them bills? Right. Let's stop it. And, and what I felt, y'all, was I appreciate the lifestyle I get to live with you, but I hate you for it. Yeah. But I hate you for it. Yes. I hate that I got to have my hand out mm -hmm. when I want to go get these new kicks. Mm -hmm. and I hate that I have to ask in a way about, well, where, where are we going on vacation and what does my contribution look like? Because I'm not running shop the way I really want to run shop mm -hmm. as most men really like to leave their house. Right. Exactly. Now, why am I playing that? Because these ladies have a problem with the passport bros. If you leave passport bros out of the argument, neither Melissa Ford, neither Ebony K. Williams have ever been able to long-term acquire the kind of men that they wanted, regardless of race. Want to know why? I'll tell you why. You have never considered listening to what the other person wants. That's why this show was about listening to black women. That's what it's always about in black America. Listen to what black women want. And one of the reasons why we have this disparity in understanding needs and wants towards black women and completely being, or having a nullifying uh, experience with black men, a non-existent 
where the line is just so demarcated where listen to me and who cares about you that's why we don't have relationships because it's all about what you want have you ever thought about asking these black men what goes on what their experience is like I, I, you know I, I always hear a lot of black women uh, you know talk or tell black men how how we ought to empathize with them and what their life is like as black women and again i can't ever empathize to the point because i'm not a, a woman but i could understand to a certain level that yeah you know being a woman is it, it most likely must be hard and and there's a lot of support that that women need emotionally and all of these things and i've realized that as i've gotten older women got to be talked to in a certain way before i just didn't care but hey listen if you're going to have a relationship with one, with a woman long term in certain ways you have to handle things that's just how it works you can't just do whatever you want however when it comes to women have they considered that or are you only considering what your needs are do you care about how a man feels how he wants to be respected how a man wants to be talked to how a man wants to be uh admired sacrifices that you should make for him melissa ford never deals with that and unfortunately at 40 and ebony k williams most likely gets it in comparisons to her. But this is why black relationships don't work. It's all about me, 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 me. Oh, by the way, go work hard all your life. Get all the money so you can give it to me, 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 me. And I don't want to give you anything. Freak you, you know, like F you. Who cares about your feelings? And then if you don't want to deal with me or if you don't want to deal with black women for whatever reason, well, you're a self hater. Well. Well, can we get to why some of these guys feel in the way that they do? But it's a crime to talk about it in that way, isn't it? When black men want to discuss things in that same way, there is so much problems. Is it not? Oh yeah, it's problem. It's big problems. We don't want to deal with it. I know. When black men want to deal with that, uh, it, it, it's, it's haters. You're a hater. And, you're awful and you're terrible but you don't understand what a man wants a man needs respect a man needs you to listen to what he's trying to do when he's trying to help you a man wants to be a leader a man wants to do all of these things that guys who are the, the men that you want that listen I, I hate to say, they're not taking that shit from you ladies I'm, I'm i hate to say that you're gonna be you're gonna be excommunicated and what you're gonna end up be dealing with is a bunch of broke dusty dudes dancing in the club at three o'clock in the morning with sandals on having fun taking pictures with a man that can't most likely take care of you or doing anything for you but maybe give you 15 minutes in the bedroom that's what you're gonna get you're not gonna get the kind of man you want doing everything you feel like doing it's almost like saying you know what i'm gonna have the best body in the gym eating ice cream and cakes every day you'll probably get diabetes and die you can't do whatever you want in life i'm sorry it doesn't work like that all right there are rules to life if you don't like it get over it it is what it is you're gonna get you're gonna give these guys what they also want as you're getting or you're not gonna have it same thing in business you got to give the customers what they want otherwise we would never have innovations because we would care about what we want but the only way you get what you want is by giving other people what they want I know we don't like it, but guys, what do you think? It's your boy, Shady Jackson. Back at it again with another episode of The Celebrity Joint. Where's your fire? You just heard a bell? We're out.